Welcome to day 48 of my 100 days of Wafflr journey. Today we're gonna install a chatbot, a HubSpot chatbot on our Webflow website, well on our Levelflow website which is made on Webflow. In conclusion, today we're gonna install a HubSpot chatbot on my Levelflow website using a few clicks, using the HubSpot Webflow app and using some small embed code that we're just gonna install on the website. So without further ado, let's jump to it. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Wafla journey by turning on that notification bell so that you can see these videos on time. Let's get to work. Okay, so we are going to install a HubSpot chatbot widget here today. So we connected our HubSpot app to the profile or to the project that we have here. So we go to launch HubSpot and then we go to add HubSpot chatbot to your site. Now, in order to do this, we'll just need to configure some stuff. So first, let's view the HubSpot chatbot. Now, if you're not logged in in the HubSpot, it's going to ask you to log in and then you're going to create a chatbot. So create chat flow and this will be for a website. And this will be a live chat, let's say, uh, yes, for now it's a live chat. And go next. This will go to our inbox and the language is English. Let's go next. Let's create it. So there will be a welcome message. It will be like this. So this is basically the preview. So it's, it's going to say, got any questions? I'm happy to help. And then the knowledge base search now that we don't have a knowledge base so there's no search in that sense automatically assign conversation since i'm the only solo printer here so there is no one to pick up these conversations uh email capture immediately after first message send don't have time to wait so if i'm not responding it's just gonna send this message to capture the email and it's gonna say leave your email and we'll be in touch with you as soon as possible so these are hubspot's default configuration uh, let's just name here you can name your chat so we're gonna name it level flow website website chat and then here it's gonna go uh, where it's gonna show the chat so uh, we're gonna go to website on all pages and then uh, anything specific here for like the visitors uh we can set this up later for now we just want this avatar so this is avatar it's going to show my face it's going to show this team member so if you have more than one team member you can choose who it shows to you can configure more of these settings here and then finally you can uh, select preview you can see the chat so here's the chat and we're gonna publish it so you, you just click this toggle this is going to publish the chat okay so once you're done setting up your chatbot you will need to connect this to your website so in order to do that you're going to go into profile and preferences and then you're going to go into tracking code and then you're going to copy this code here and just install that code on your website so this will be installed in the main page of my website so here and then we're just gonna save this and we will publish and let's see if that works now here it recommends that you go into this documentation and these documentations are basically going to tell you that at the final stage you will need to copy this url to have it on your website or this embed code that is basically the tracking code on your website so if we refresh here now we see that the chatbot is installed we can chat with it and uh, since i don't have the premium version of hubspot it's going to leave the the branding of hubspot here but once i have the premium version and if you have the premium version this won't appear and you can configure this as you like think you can even configure the colors and all that so now I have a HubSpot chatbot so I can if I say hello uh, it's just gonna run to my HubSpot so if I go my HubSpot I can see a notification saying oh someone send you hello 
and uh, you can just go to it and continue this conversation now you see also it automatically asked for if i don't have time to wait i can just leave my email address here and this will create a new contact on my hubspot crm and then there i can manage it or i can contact them later if i wasn't online at the spot so this is basically how you connect a hubspot hubspot chatbot to your website Thank you for watching this video. I hope I taught you something today. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey by turning on that notification bell so that you can stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow videos and see these videos on time. See you tomorrow in day 49.